Hello guys and welcome to a brand new part of Let's Play The Sims 3 Get Together. Um, Evie's phone is ringing. I can't get you out of mind lately, wanna go on a date and some breakfast at Little Lillian's. You're our boyfriend. Yeah, we'd love to, but we're not going to our restaurant at 9.30am in the morning. Anyway, um, welcome to a brand new part. Um, if you just saw the last part, um, you know that I've recorded this directly after that. So, uh, <laughs> there we go. Uh, in this part... We are actually going to move Joe in with us. Exciting. Because um, that will actually give us a bit more money if we get him a job, which is fun. Um, we're going to be working on the restaurant. And I think for now that will be it. I do want to try and get Lillian with that guy. Um, but for right now, I think that's all we're going to do. Um, I'm going to have Lillian get up and actually serve up some scrambled eggs with bacon mm, that sounds delicious right now i could do with some scrambled eggs and bacon do we need to pay the bills no good uh oh our performance isn't doing that well i might have a quitter job because the restaurant is like basically what she's always wanted to do um so i feel like we'll have her just do that to be honest um and when evie gets up we're gonna have her go to the toilet and then we will have her eat food. Uh, okay, we'll have her whatever she cooks. And then we're gonna have her actually write um, another book. Oh, Zoom writing, her poetry book. Um, I don't know if I can wake her up yet. Is that, yeah, we can wake her up now. That's that done. Why are you always uncomfortable? Is it just because you haven't eaten? Well, I'm not gonna have you like uh, do your book if you're uncomfortable, am I? What is this? I guess you could grab a serving of that actually, and then we'll have you write your book. What are you doing on the toilet? Ew. What were you doing? Okay, anyway. There we go, and we're gonna put this in the fridge so it doesn't spoil. And I don't know if Lillian has work today. Oh, she does at 3 p.m. And let's see if she actually goes to work. Because in the last part, for some reason, she was like, I'm not gonna go. And she didn't really go. So that was a bit random. But anyway. Mm -hmm. I feel like this living room needs a bit more colour in it, don't you? I might actually. Let's go. I wanna see this sofa. I wanna see, can I get a different colour in this sofa? I know we can't afford it right now. Right now. I was scared to delete it and then get the money and then maybe, oh yeah see we get because you get less money for it when you resell it okay, it doesn't matter and I'm gonna do my audio again I didn't realize how crazy the audio volumes are in here especially if you're recording um, they go well up so there apply changes done some intense conversation going on. Put that in there. I like the little kitchen now. Proud of myself for redecorating. Uh, okay, we're actually gonna have. Hey, welcome to Spear Masters. Are you trying? Try starting a gap. Wait, what? You can't just send us a message and then it go. Okay. Um, I've just had an idea. We're not actually going to have Evie uh, do her book. This episode, Evie is going to call Miss Jasmine Holiday. Oh yeah, she's back. And she is going to be um, telling us all about the Day of the Repasa Dead. Uh, thing. I think she's calling now while she's having breakfast. I'll be right over. Lillian, you can just go watch TV because you've got work and you might as well just chill where are you Jasmine Jasmine likes to take her time doesn't she <laughs> I thought, oh my god I got so scared I, thought, I didn't know Lillian was just standing there I thought it was Jasmine I was like how the fuck did she get in our house um sit and watch TV wait can you not why won't you watch TV I don't get it okay I was like why is you not watching TV can have you light the fire as well? Let's have you light the fire. Whilst you watch TV. 
Uh-huh. How lovely. Cozy, cozy. I don't know where Jasmine is. Uh, oh, no, wrong thing. This one. Yep, you're fine. You're all happy now. So let's have you uh, get all changed into your everyday wear, duh. I don't get why she always feels uncomfortable. Bad aftertaste. Uh, or should I say bad aftertaste? Where is this girl? I'm calling Jasmine again. Because girl didn't turn up. Uh, I don't know if she got lost in her little car on the way to ours, but she did definitely got lost in somehow, some way, some form. What are you watching, girl? Actually, I'm gonna have you um change the channel to the cooking channel because that can actually help your cooking skill. Okay. I don't know why you just did that. I'll be right over. There you are. My gosh, you took your time. Right, let's go and uh, let's find out about this Day of the Dead challenge. Because this is when it begins, guys. I'm going to do the Day of the Dead challenge, I hope. I pray. <laughs> I don't even know what it entails, but we're about to find out. Okay. The Day of the Dead challenge has arrived. I'm going to pause here. Uh, for a limited time, other Sims are already out and celebrate about and celebrating the occasion. Look around the neighborhood for Sims in vibrantly themed regalia and ask them for a sugar skull. Completing the sugar skull collection allows your own Sims to join in the festivities. Simply place the nine unique sugar skulls inside a sugar skull display case to unlock the honor of the dead interaction. Wait, what? That this interaction rewards your household with a tenth golden skull and enhanced interactions with the Grim Reaper. <gasps> That's so cool. Jasmine Holiday has placed a sugar skull display case in your household's inventory to help you get started on the Day of the Dead challenge. If you prefer a different colour, you can also purchase the case from the storage section on, of Bill, World, Bill Mode's object, object catalogue. Awesome. So have we actually... There it is. Wait, no, that's right. Hip to the max. What the hell is this? I don't know what that is, but okay. So I'm going to guess that we've got our display case in build inventory. Ooh, I like it. Let's put it above here. Um, maybe not. Let's put it. I don't know where to put it, guys. Where should I put it? I keep, our front door I think should be here don't you think I'm gonna actually maybe change that now I'll put the sugar skull thing there and I'm actually gonna quickly um readjust our house which is gonna be weird right. I think that just oh no <laughs> oh wow Flowers. I mean that looks a lot better actually I'm proud so that's really cool so can we oh we just just ask her so we need to go out and about and meet people who are obviously dressed as um oh these people died that's so sad. Um, we need to go and see people who are dressed as like uh, the Mexican skulls, which is cool. Um, we're gonna open the restaurant because I completely forgot about that. Uh, we're gonna open that restaurant. Uh, Lillian has work in, not in soon. <laughs> um, and I'm actually gonna invite over someone. I'll do that. There we go. I can hear loads of banging going on, and I'm really quite scared because I'm sh I'm in my bedroom. Um, I if you don't know, I live in a flat by myself, and I'm in my bedroom, and I can just hear loads of banging, and none of the lights are on. 
This guy, I bet you can ask him for a sugar skull. Um, but I want to invite Joken over. Okay. Right, I'm sorry about that. I went on and turned o I, I went over and turned on my own little light in my room because it was too dark in here. Right, so kiss. We're just gonna let's kiss him. Gelbador. Yes, big. In a place. Uh -huh. cheek. Um, <laughs> I'm not I'm not proposing, but we know who's gone over eyes. I'm well excited for that. <laughs> um I do, here we go. Are you ready for this guys? Sure. We are gonna ask him to move in before we go to the restaurant. So let's do this. I started to lose money, you may want to close it until you can visit and turn it around. Moving in together, click OK to go to the household split and merge. Okay, so he said yes! That's brilliant. I've actually never done this before, so this is all new to me. So let's see. Oh my god, who are you? Oh my god, we might move in, be moving both of you in. If all sims are transferred out of this household, all household belongings will be sold or transferred to the new household. So all lot furnishings. Do we get more money? I don't know what to do then. Because he's really cute as well. And I really think that would be perfect guy for Lillian. But I don't at the same time. Okay, you know what? We're going to say that Joe really wanted his brother to live with them. So he's moving in with us as well. This is going to be a funny, weird scenario. <laughs> so... Here we go, and um, somehow, okay, I think Lillian's off to work, she looks fierce. This is someone who we don't know, this is Sergio. Um, I don't think Sergio, no, Sergio has no one romantically interested. Um, I'm pretty sure he's a young adult, he's part of any club. The Paragons, he's a part of like, the posh popular club. Um, uh, so that's gonna be fun if he gets with Lillian. Um, and then obviously we knew Joe. Um, I don't think Joe has a lot of, and we know which clubs Joe is a part of. Um, this is gonna be fun. And they, uh, oh my God. They gave us so much money. Yes, bitch. Oh, oh my God. So we basically took all the furnishings that were in the house that they must have lived in. Um, we should have just moved to their house. Oh shit, we've so much. Okay, I'm. We're gonna leave that all in there for now because we don't need all of that right now. Um, and I actually am gonna transfer loads of funds over. We're gonna transfer twenty five thousand over to the restaurant. Um, oh, she she has got her milestone. Joe joke has created his milestone or whatever. Um, this is so exciting. I'm so happy that they moved in. Um, but I don't know what we're going to do in terms of other bedrooms. So we might have to actually look for somewhere new. Um, I don't know where they used to live. So if I said I wanted to move out, can we just look at places? How do we move out? Can we not? <laughs> can we not move out? Actions. We can't move out, can we? Well, I don't get how we can't move out. Find a job, buy a retail store, buy a restaurant. Move household. Okay, let's say I wanted to move the household, right? We're gonna see what other places there are. Okay. Okay, so I don't know where they used to live. Um, I'm looking around. Where might they have lived? I really don't know where they used to live. I'm really confused. Maybe here. This is probably where they lived. We can afford that. Should we move there? 
Guys, so much is happening in this part. We're gonna move there. Doc Den, it's literally next to our restaurant as well. We are gonna move there. Um, we're not gonna do it now. We're gonna do that in the next part, everyone. So I'm well excited for that. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, um, we are definitely gonna move out in the next part, but I just wanna get all the pieces that we really wanna take, like the TV and stuff together, and then we will move out. Uh, although, I feel like we should do it now. Mm, I don't know what to do because he's got nowhere to sleep. Like, you'd have to share a bed with Lillian, but is that that bad? I don't think so. Oh, what does he do? Yeah, what is his career, actually? I would like to know. Where is he? Number two, he's an open mic speaker. Oh, cool. Um, oh, you know what, YOLO? We're actually going to move, and we're going to take our TV with us. Because I want the TV. What else are we going to take? We're going to take these little things. Our computer. I don't think there's anything else we need to take. Guys, we're moving out. So we're gonna move. We're gonna move to the dock. I don't know what it's called, dock hideaway or something. Um, so I'm gonna have us move there and I will pick up once we have. Guys, we are at our new home. Now, um, I'm gonna pause it. I am 100% sure that this is where they lived because there's no furniture. There wasn't even an option to have furniture at this place because they must have taken it all. Um, but that's fine for us because what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do a bit of um, remodeling the house and such. And I'm actually gonna end this part here. This is probably really early and I'm really sorry guys that I'm ending it here. But because in the next part, I wanna get this house remodeled and in the next part you'll see what it looks like. Um, and we'll focus on the restaurant and stuff and maybe someone will be getting proposed to but we'll figure that out um so thank you so much for watching guys if you love this video do give it a thumbs up and remember to hit that subscribe button because it really means so much that i see people liking me and these videos and i will see you all in the next part thank you guys bye